Hey guys, it's James from HonestCigarReviews.com. In front of me I have the lot number 826, Slow Aged. Uh, it's a cigar from Perdomo Cigars. And uh, this is a Maduro. It is a Churchill, 7 inches by 52 inch ring gauge. And I actually got this cigar from StogieBoys.com. So thank you, Stogie Boys. Um, what else can I say? I found this cigar on their website uh, for uh, a five pack for $20. So that's probably what you'll get it for. It's a pretty oily cigar. Uh, pretty well packed. Let's see if I can get a. Pretty well packed. It's really light, but it's well packed. And uh, let's see here. Let's see the cap. I like getting close ups for you guys. Nothing too special. We'll just have to taste it and find out. Also, oh, also, can't forget. I have my pipe that I haven't really been smoking. And I wanted to bring it out here to show you guys so I can get some recommendations on what to smoke. I've only smoked it like maybe five or six times. And I'm like, man, I don't know what to do with this thing. Maybe my viewers can uh, suggest some stuff. So if you guys have anything to, to suggest to me, something that maybe cigar smokers will like, let me know. Hit me up. Comment below this video. Anyway, I'll get right into it. Hey guys, I'm back here with the uh, Slow Aged Lot 826 from Perdomo. Uh, thank you, Stogie Boys, again. I can't say thank you enough. I mean, you guys are just awesome. So, Anyway, I lit it up, as you can see. Just started. Um, let's see here. Can I get his... Let's see here. The... I can already tell it's going to be pretty good ash. Um, the draw is really, really nice. I like this, actually. It's not... um not tight, not too firm. It's just like right where I like it, where it has a, just a little bit of resistance. Um, really right now the flavors, is it's kind of oily, like oily tobacco, and maybe just a little bit of like, uh, I don't know, like a little bit of like a sweet, I don't know, a little bit of a sweet oily tobacco. I guess I can't describe other than just tobacco oily flavor, but it also has a little bit of pepper on the uh, finish. Other than that, it's kind of a mild cigar. There's not really a lot to it. It's not really complex at all so far. But I'll just have to get into it and, uh, yeah, check back with you guys later. See ya. Whew, this thing's producing a lot of smoke. Not a lot of flavors. Again, um, the burn is pretty good so far. The uh, construction is great. The draw is great. The only thing I can really say so far is the flavor is just really bland. It's just oily tobacco, maybe just a little bit of pepper. It's probably like a mild, medium cigar. Um, my roommate was just joking with me. He's like, yeah, it's so oily. You should pair it with some oily chicken or something. But, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll, I guess we'll see. We'll catch up with you guys a little bit. Oh, also I'd recommend getting some water with this because it, it just kind of, kind of leaves you dry a little bit. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm back again with the Slow Aged Lot 826. I just want to show the ash because it's pretty impressive. I haven't even ashed it once and it's well over two inches. And uh, it just goes to show that an inexpensive stick, you know, can be very well constructed, you know. Let me get a close-up on this for you. Yeah, so it's pretty nice. Anyway, I'll catch back with you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm back again. I'm over halfway done with the slow-aged lot number 826. I had to turn my iPhone light on because it was getting kind of dark. Um, really the same exact flavors. Oily tobacco... Uh, maybe just a little bit of toast and a tiny, tiny bit of pepper on the finish. Really um, an uneventful cigar. Um, you know, everything was great construction, draw, burn, um, appearance. I mean, it's a it's a well-made cigar. It's just the flavor it was just so uh, boring, you know. And So I was thinking maybe this cigar would be good for, like, a golf outing or to give to friends. Um, it lasts very long, you know. It's a nice, long-burning cigar. Um, really just uh, just boring so um, I don't know I'll smoke it maybe another inch and give the final rating and uh, yeah that's about it see you soon alright so last video on the slow aged 826 um, really just getting really hot right now and and just too peppery and so I'm going to have to cut it short but uh, this cigar has been really great with the construction and the ash and the burn and the draw. It's just the flavors, once again, that knocked it down a lot. That knocked it down a whole point on our 10-point scale. So um, if the flavors were, you know, more complex, it would be like a 9.3. But because it's, you know, kind of a dull cigar, I'll rate it an 8.3 on our 10-point scale. Again, you can get these at stogieboys.com. 
and uh, feel free to comment below on the video um, or check out our website at honestcigarreviews.com. Have a good night. See ya.